boy, hello there! Welcome to another episode of Teddy Troops. Today, I will be telling everyone, everyone how to make some lovely omelettes today. Now for this, we will need a few things. Are you ready? We will need some peppers. Now, the colour doesn't really matter, but I'm going to use all three because I like things being colourful and pretty. A couple onions and a piece of garlic can't go amiss as well. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You'll also need to get yourself a huge block of cheese. I've been doing a lot of cheese, I just like getting a huge block, because I like eating it. Mmm. And of course, eggs. You can't make an omelette without eggs. What kind of omelette would it be without eggs? It'd just be... be vegetables and cheese. Mmm, that's not a bad idea, actually. Remember to wash your hands before you start, and after using any eggs. So just give them a little wash. There we go. Oh my god, the soap's went in my eyes! Ah! First up, we'll need to chop up all our ingredients. Especially these peppers here. Hmm, which knife shall I use? I think I'll take the blue one. How about the peppers? Why would they cut? They must be made out of some knife resistant material. Give me a second, people! Cut! Turns out that blue was the wrong choice. I should have used the green one. Now, when you cut out a little bit of each pepper, cut them up into finely chopped up bits, and then put them in a bowl. Now we can move on to our onion. Once you've chilled the top layer over it, we can start cutting it into little bits, just like our peppers. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I can't. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just wanted to make it all of that. <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so sorry, Onion. Uh, I need a gas mask for this. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Like, I don't know what came over me. Damn, Onion. Speaking of smelly stuff, there's our chance to do the garlic. It's good for keeping vampires in the lights of such a way. So put in as much or as little as you want, depending on how garlicky you want your breath to be. I have a date tonight, so not much for me. Boy, that stuff stinks. You can put that in the bowl now. Then we move on to some of the fuller parts of this. Like the cheese! Now we should grate ourselves little cheese for our omelette too. I shall grate this using the power of my mind! Phew, that's too much effort. Just play the sound again and make it finish. Hmm, now that that's all done, we get to eat the bit that's left over. If you go any further, it'll grit your fingers off, and that would not be pleasant. Mmm, the cheese, yum, yum, yum. Now we can get cracking our eggs. Mmm, which one shall I pick? I think I'll pick you, and you, and you, and you. Now that we've got all our eggs put into a jar, we can start whisking them together. This is the part I like best because I get to use the power tool. Yeah! Oh my god, it's everywhere! After you've successfully whisked the egg and cleaned all the bits you put on the ceiling, now you can mix these two together. Now we're ready to put everything into our frying pan. So get yourself a frying pan and oil it up a little bit. Here we go. Come on. Oh my god, glass is so heavy. Who is glass heavy? There we go. Oh, woohoo! Mmm, lovely and oily. Make sure you push it around in there a bit so it covers the whole base. Now we're ready to pour this stuff into the pan. I hate being small, it really makes it difficult to pour things. You use this cake tin. You stand up here, pour things in. Okay, here we go. Pour again. I have a feeling I'm going to mess. No, it's okay, I'm not going to mess. I promise I'm not going to mess. It can be a huge mess everywhere on the thing. Here we go. Come on. Mmm, look at it go. Yeah, we're doing it! Mmm, yummy! 
can do one more. There we go, all done. Now that that's done, put it on the heat. Be sure to have a spatula ready so you can flip it in a couple minutes as well. Wow, would you look at that glow down there. Mm -mm -mm. I better stop sitting on the cooker when this is happening. As you see, it start to form a base that's solid. Now is the ideal time to flip it. You ready? A one, a two, a three. Da! It's all flipped! Yeah! Let it cook for a little bit, then we can start sprinkling some cheese on it, and then flip it over once more. Okay now, get your bucket of cheese and start sprinkling that stuff into there. I shall do this again with the power of my mind. A one, a two, a three. Fantastic, lovely, cheesy. Now we just need to wait a couple minutes more. Now we take our favourite flipping instrument and flip the omelette but only half so it pops on top of itself. A watch. Mmm, yummy, look at that. Oh my god, where did that light come from? Anyway, we should only be a little bit longer until it's cooked. Let's wait. Now that it's ready, we can just take the pan and plop it on a plate ready to eat. Here we go. Oh, careful. Mmm, yum yum yum. Excuse me, I'm gonna put that hot pan away so that it's safe. Remember to clean up after yourself too. Man, I love not having to do the dishes. Mmm, fantastic! It's time to get stuck into this now. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'll see you all next time on Teddy Cooks. Oh, it was so nice. I don't know about humans, but I think my cholesterol is now through the roof. Someone call a doctor, please. <laughs>